out here and make some plays. I mean, is that the idea? Is you want to be the starter? Oh, I mean, running? of course that's the idea. I mean, nobody wants to sit the bench. Sitting the bench ain't no fun. So, yeah, no, I definitely want to be a starter. How tall an order is that going to be, given that you have Nick and others, you know, Corgino coming in? I mean, it's always extremely hard to do. I mean, we got some great football players, college football. It's You don't just sign up and come out here and play just like it was high school or something like that. Everyone's good. Everyone's going to compete. What What's is the feedback you've gotten so far on your part? It's good, but it's always got to get better. You know, there's, there's definitely everything. I mean, you can improve on everything. What have been just kind of your thoughts on the development of the line where you guys are now? Um, I mean, we're getting better. We're running around hitting a little more, thinking a little less. Uh, I mean, we still got the still got the two freshmen. They're still learning everything. The Vaughn's playing good. It's just, I mean, every, every day you got to come out here and get better. What, uh, what has impressed you about Vaughn? Uh, I mean, just his size and his strength and his physicality for being a freshman. He's not scared to go out there and hit you. There's a play where he drove him all the way to the sideline. It was, it was pretty incredible watching the freshman. How did you do in the scrimmage, do you think? Like, I don't know if they grade you out, but how did you perform? Uh, I performed good. Not, not not to the standard that I wanted to and not to Miami. Some people, it, some people call it a bruise, some call it a strain. You know, so there's different ways to term it. But, um, you know, when the shoulder separates, it comes apart. It did not come apart. It's just bruised and it's sore. And he's already getting his range of motion back, which is good. And, um, you know, so he, um, I mean, he's day by day. Uh, I saw him this morning in there doing a lot of a lot of this when he couldn't do that the day before. So things are moving uh, in a good direction as, as far as that's as far as that's concerned. Do you, do you think that was the right? Have the offense really had a great first half of practice, and then you have a break and come back and do some more teamwork. And defense kind of uh, took control of the day, but uh, it's good to see the offense in our team run period and our uh, seven on seven periods make the plays that we did and then uh, second half more uh, third down situations defense pretty much dominated that but I mean, it was a good day of competition overall and glad we got practice number 10 at 10 10 all right who's got a question Mark, any, any uh, leftover thoughts and review of the scrimmage after I'm assuming you watched Dave I think yeah um offensively very few times uh did we have a situation where the play didn't have a good chance of success? It was just, and a lot of times if you uh, if you get a minus two yard on a run, you might think that's the worst thing that ever happened. But you watch tape and you see everybody did their job, but you got a little double team, you got a double team up to a backer, and then both guys go to the backer and let the guy go. Everything else is blocked beautifully. If they just stayed on the double team a half a second longer. We're ripping through there for. You know, a good 15, 20 yard gain, you know. So that that's that's promising when you see that on tape. When you see three guys, four guys messing up and you're like, oh my goodness, we got no clue what we're doing, then that's a scary day. So most of it was that one or two guys offensively or spring like I like I said after the scrimmage, you know, you spring a guy wide open, uh, and then you just you just miss him, barely miss him. Well you you missed it. You gotta get it to him. If you hit him, now you got a uh, seventy five yard touchdown. Early in the scrimmage, that kind of changes the whole. It changes the game. It changes the scrimmage too. So, just you know, we got to hit the target when it's there, and then we got to, um, you know, everybody along the line, everybody on the offensive team has got to just execute every play. Every guy's got to do his job. And uh, the good news was it wasn't like a massive amount of guys each play. It was probably one or two here and there. And then, but we did have I mean, we had good we did have good plays. We did have good plays. So that's good too. The Mark. scrimmage coming up uh, yeah. this Saturday. Right. Do you change anything? Do you have a leader going in as quarterback? Do you, uh, you know, is it a different format? Uh, I, I just hadn't decided yet on that, but um, you know, we we pretty much have been rotating quarterbacks all along, um, giving so many guys work with the ones, with the twos, with the threes, try to make that decision. Like today, for the first time, we gave Weldon a little bit of work with the two unit, and um, you know, he was. It's different when you're when you're in a huddle versus if you're in the huddle uh, with a bunch of guys that are young and and struggling along with you. It's not so bad. But when you go to the two unit and they're more mature, they know what they're doing better. Now now you got to go in there and be the guy. It's tougher on him, and it, and it, it showed a little bit today. But you got to little by little get you know feed him until he's ready to go out there and compete. Mark, what's impressed you about Travis Homer, and do you have any clarity on Robert Burns to know if he'll be back by August for sure? 
Uh, you know, I don't know for sure. I think I think uh, we we believe that Robert will be back in plenty of time for the season. Um, Travis is. You know, we spent more time pass protecting uh, last scrimmage than running, and um, that's the thing we got to make sure he can do well. I think he knows what to do now, and I think he knows how to do it. But he's still, you know, you got to be physical even in pass protection, and, and I think people are still kind of bull rushing him a little bit. He's got to learn when to cut block in a scrimmage, and when to, you know, just man up and and strike a guy and slow down his charge and running running past the quarterback. They usually have, usually have edge rushers. Every once in a while, you'll have a rusher that comes through the gap. That's your responsibility. Through the middle, and when I say a gap, there's usually a lineman, a lineman. Here he comes in the gap. Well, you got to meet him at that line of scrimmage where you don't give him a lot of space. If you let him get through the gap and then you try to block him, he can go either way on you, he can run you over. So you got to learn who to block and then you got to be able to and with lack of depth there, has there been any thought at all in your mind for moving DJ Dallas to running back res? He's been so good a receiver that you just well, don't want to do that. Well, um, if we didn't think Chalk was coming back, if we didn't think Burns was coming back, if we didn't think there was any hope of you know anybody else joining us, then he would probably be the first guy on the roster to do that. But at this point, we didn't want to we didn't want to jack him around, uh, learn all this, and then go to receiver. We we're trying to let him learn something. And we felt like if you're going to learn a position, receiver is one that's going to take more to refine. If you, you know running back position, you tend to be able to teach that a little bit faster. It's a little bit less of a learning curve. So we're like, if we absolutely have to by the first summer session start training as a running back, we can. And he he's he know we've we've talked he, all along. He's been like, whatever you ask me to do, coach, I'll do. But our goal is not to do that. Our goal is not to do that. Mark, I, know he's, I know he's on the defensive side of the yeah. ball, but just what if you think of Darian always just coming back off the injury and the I, confidence yeah, coming back? Yeah, it is. It is. Little by little, him. his confidence is coming back. He's playing a little harder and faster and changing direction better. And, and it looked like he, you know, a year ago it almost looked like he was dragging it, dragging that leg along with him. And now he's much more in sync with his gait and how he runs and how he moves and changes direction. So I'm really happy for him. Mark, uh, can you give us an update on Jack Allison? Because uh, yeah. we didn't talk about that last Just, time, and, and yeah. your thought about Ginger. Yeah, he's fast rush. Uh, anything that they have been working on, I just wanted to see it, you know, uh, transferred to the screen. Is there, is there a, a spot overall where you think it's going to be better? Spot overall? Yeah. I would, say, I would say everywhere. You know, um, like Coach just said, he just said it right now, you know, when we're really urgent, we're really good. So everybody has to focus on coming out, you know, getting the crust out of the eyes and getting ready to practice, getting ready, uh, getting ready to, you know, be better every day. You know, being great is being good every day. So you can't take any days off no matter you know, you don't feel like you're not the best, this and that. We have to come prepared to work. Did, did the quarterbacks, you know, being live make it a little more enticing for you guys? Or did you even worry a little bit? Very enticing. It was very, very exciting, you know. Uh, it tested them just as it tested us, you know. We had to learn how to get out of coverage. We had to learn how to stay in coverage when they scrambled. You know, they had to learn how to, you know, scramble. So it was a, it was a good measuring stick for us. How do you think they did? Um, there's some new guys. Well, actually, Kate did. Kate did. Or had the other guys there. Um, quarterbacks in the yeah. scrimmage? I yeah. think they all did good. They all had their moments. You know, like everybody makes plays in the scrimmage. So I think everybody did good. I think everyone got better. Check from a leadership standpoint, it seemed like I had kind of stepping up and being more vocal, just kind of really making sure guys are doing those things that we were talking about. Uh, definitely on the defense, you know, you got Quan Johnson behind us. You know, that's full right there. Uh, got definitely got Chad. Chad's on everybody. You got North. You know what I'm saying? Um, those guys right there, they really, they really keep it good from top to bottom. You know, you don't see North. Come on, folks, get it right. You know, it's it's full. It's top to bottom. They can't be all defensive line. Just trying to give it some uh, safety. To you know, everybody, everybody the same. Same. Jack, it's kind of on you now too, is it? Second year, put a linebacker and start talking. Do you feel more comfortable in that role? I do. I do. After the first year with all the experience that I had, uh, I got from the season, I felt very comfortable, you know, starting spring and, you know, the guys. We already had that chemistry from last season. So, yeah, I'm very excited.